By now, you should have taken some time to think about what you already know and how that knowledge applies to your assignment. The next step is to develop a research question and thesis statement. This video will help you figure out how to do exactly that. Figuring out your thesis statement may seem overwhelming. You'll spend a lot of time answering these questions, so you want to make sure that you're picking something that interests you. You've already gained some background information on the topic, so what is it that you want to learn more about? For example, one question you may have about American folklore is, why did people in the U.S. believe in vampires? And we're not talking about Edward and Bella, but when they really believed in them, back in the 1800s. Once you have your research question, the next step is to develop a hypothesis. A hypothesis is a prediction or possible explanation of why something happens. It can also be called a thesis statement or topic statement. Use what you learned while doing background research to come up with an educated guess as to what the answer to your research question could be. Maybe people believed in vampires because New England had a vampire scare in the 19th century, or because people didn't understand certain diseases then, or maybe because panic about vampires occurred at the same time as tuberculosis outbreaks. From this information, we can create a thesis statement like, the vampire scare in North America was largely caused by a fear of poorly understood disease. You're not done yet. As with all stages of the writing process, you'll want to go back and reread and improve it. For example, North America is kind of broad, so maybe pick a more specific geographic location. Poorly understood disease could be anything. Focus in on that. What diseases were associated with vampires? It's also important to include some sort of date range, especially when working with historical time periods. An updated thesis statement could be, The vampire scare in 19th century New England was largely caused by a fear and lack of understanding about tuberculosis, known at that time as consumption. See what we did? We included a time period and focused on more specific geographic locations and diseases associated with vampires. Breaking your thesis statement into main ideas will help you figure out what information you need to support your argument, which will make the remaining steps in the research process much easier.